Hey friends, I wanted to come on here today and talk about a topic that I've actually been teaching for years now, and that is called the pleasure zone. This is actually something that I learned back when I first got my coaching certification, circa 2012, um, and I learned a lot in my neurolinguistic programming certification as well, which is all about the language of the mind. So I want to teach you guys how you can achieve your goals by simply shifting perspectives in how you look at what it is that you want in life, okay? So this is, is quite a simple perspective shift, okay? So it doesn't take a whole lot of work. It, you just need to be able to identify when it is that you're falling into the trap of avoiding pain. So there's two real ways that you are trying to achieve something. It's either you're trying to achieve something because you're trying to avoid the pain associated with it, or you're moving towards the pleasure associated with getting the results. Now, most people will do things to avoid pain. And here's where I want you to make that shift. If you're somebody who is trying to accomplish a goal by avoiding the pain that is associated with you not accomplishing the goal, oftentimes that can lead to a lot of negative thought pattern, downward spiral. Your focus, all of your thoughts and your energy and attention is moving towards the things you don't have, the things you don't want, all of those negative feelings that are almost um, producing fight or flight, right? It's that fight or flight response of survival, right? If I stay in this space, this is not good for me. This is not healthy for me. So what I want you to do is I want you to be able to identify what is your pleasure zone, all right? So if your pleasure zone is, you know, let's look at a physical fitness goal, for example, because it's just so easy to be able to identify. But if you wanted to lose 25 pounds and right now you're thinking to yourself, I gotta lose this weight because if I don't lose this weight, like I just feel so gross, I feel icky, I feel heavy, I feel toxic. I feel, you know, I, I can't get my pants on and it's just so embarrassing. I feel like everyone looks at me and they just judge me or whatever the case might be, right? Then everything that you're doing to try to, you know, work towards that fitness goal, you're actually doing it to avoid the pain associated with staying 25 pounds heavier than you want to be. Okay, so this is where the shift is going to happen. Instead of having all of your thoughts, instead of having the entire direction of how you're trying to achieve something being associated with the pain, I want you to turn that into, hey, Janet, how can you move this towards pleasure? So instead, this might sound like, I'm going to shed these 25 pounds because when I'm 25 pounds lighter, I'm going to feel vibrant. I'm going to feel energetic. I'm going to be able to play with my kids more. Those pants that I've been wanting to wear for the last five years are going to fit with ease and I'm going to feel so good in my own skin. I'm going to probably wake up earlier because I'm going to be filled with energy and vitality and, you know, everyone's probably going to notice it and people will be saying things like, wow, Oh, you look amazing. You look so great. What have you been doing? Oh, that's going to feel and sound so good, right? So now your pleasure zone is filled with all these ideas and just the, 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 the feelings and the energy around what it's going to be like to be 25 pounds lighter, right? So everything that you do is going to be, you're going to be doing it with a smile. You're going to be doing it with this positive energy. You're going to be excited to do it because your entire thought process is around how good is that going to feel? So for my doTERRA people, I'm going to put this into perspective with how this looked for me when I was starting my business. When I started my doTERRA business, I got pregnant pretty quickly right after and I was still working a full-time job, and my pleasure zone was the idea of being able to stay, uh, to stay at home after my maternity leave. So once I went on maternity leave, I wanted to retire from my full-time career and be able to stay home because of my doTERRA business. So instead of me looking at it and saying, I got to hit this rank, I got to hit the rank of goals, I got to do this, I got to make this happen, because if I don't, I'm going to have to go back to work, and I'm never going to see my daughter, and 
you know, I'm going to be working a job and being a mom. I'm going to be so stressed out. Instead, I was like, this is awesome. I, my pleasure zone is getting to retire. It's getting to be at home. It's getting to be with my baby girl for her first year and not have to think, think about returning to work. My pleasure zone is being able to replace my income and have freedom and do all these amazing things. So my mind was so focused on the excitement, on the thrill of being able to hit this rank because it was going to get me all these things in my pleasure zone instead of avoiding the pain. Because I did do that when I hit the rank of diamond. My mind shifted and I started thinking, I got to maintain this rank. I got to maintain this rank because if I don't, people are going to be like, well, what kind of leader are you? You fell from diamond. You fell from that rank. You know, this, this was my thoughts, right? If I don't make it in the magazine, people are going to think I'm not good enough. People are going to think, and everything started shifting. And my mindset was, I have to hit this rank. So I avoid the pain of being judged. I avoid the pain of not making those bigger checks. I avoid the pain and everything in me shifted to all these negative feelings and thoughts. And I started doing the work to avoid the pain. And there's a, a big difference in how you do things when you're avoiding pain. It comes from fight or flight. It comes from desperation. It comes from low abundance. It comes from scarcity. It's not the same. So when I recognized that, I was able to shift back and say, okay, I need to make a new pleasure zone. I need to, and in my mind, the way I look at this is this big puffy cloud. And I do this on paper. I write in this big puffy cloud. I write all the things associated with my pleasure zone, right? Being diamond means uh, financial freedom for myself and my husband because, you know, we both are on, you know, my doTERRA income and he owns the racetrack, but that's not exactly it doing its thing this season, next season. <laughs> so, you know, we have all these things in there. We get to stay home. We can put my daughter in like, a, you know, a really beautiful, expensive private daycare. We can do all these things. And this is my pleasure zone. And we can go on trips and we can go on vacations. And these are all the things that I'll get to do when I maintain that rank. And then I look from the bottom and I start writing all the things, almost like a ladder leading up to this big, beautiful cloud filled with my pleasure zone. And on each rung of the, that, that ladder, I write the different action steps that it's going to require me to get to that pleasure zone. I write down all the things that that looks like, what that means, and you know what action steps that are required, what types of consistency is required, and each rung is a different step. And as I achieve each rung, I check it off and I know that I'm getting one step closer to where I want to be and I where where you know where my pleasure zone is so again the pain pain zone is behind you that's where everything we do we're looking behind us and we're just feeling that it's kind of like ripping us right like why we don't want to be where we are now making a note on that it it is actually motivating um, in in some sense to understand what your pain zone is because it oftentimes takes a pain point for you to want to create a pleasure zone for you to want to move from one thing to another if you're too comfortable where you are you're not going to want to even you know do the steps to move it to a pleasure zone because you're like i'm happy here why am i going to do all that work for i'm good here so sometimes it takes you having to already feel incredibly uncomfortable where you are for you to choose to take that step and for you to choose to um, actually move yourself towards that pleasure zone. So it's okay if your initial why, your initial motivating factor is, is rooted in pain, but then when you're actually creating your goal setting, create that goal setting around the things and the action steps that are gonna take you to your pleasure zone. So hopefully that was helpful for you guys. I'd love to see what some of your big clouds, puppy clouds of pleasure zone look like um, because it is visually, right? You can start to train your subconscious mind to look for and do the things that are going to help you get to where you really want to go. All right, guys, have an awesome day. We'll talk to you later.